Hey folks, Tim MacArthur here, best-selling author of Impact, How to Get Noticed, Motivate Millions, and Make a Difference in a Noisy World, and also The Impact Factor, How Small Actions Change the World. If you haven't picked up those two books, you should do it now. Just do a search for Ken MacArthur on Amazon, and you can run across those uh, books. took a lot of time to, <laughs> to do them. I want you to read them because I believe they'll change your life. Uh, I'm really, really excited about today. Uh, we've got Anne DeVere on from a Access to Experts. She's the executive producer there. If you've ever had aspirations to be on Good Morning America, CNN, or 60 Minutes, Anne DeVere is your go-to expert to get you ready and on your way to celebrity status. She's an author, speaker, consultant, and the executive producer, as I said, of Access to Experts TV. Show... Uh, host mastery and meet the press live her international client list covers the globe so uh, welcome to the uh, webcast today and it's great to be talking to you again oh thank you Ken you know it's thrilled to be here and always a pleasure you just uh, I love your programs uh, you know I love you know all the interviews that you conduct so it's an honor to be here with you thank well, you Thank you so much, and uh, and we're going to do some interesting, fun things. I'm going to actually uh, give uh, people a chance to uh, to, to uh, learn some great content, and uh, we're going to have a little bit of a conversation, and then we'll open it up for questions at the very end. If you folks are on Twitter or Facebook and uh, you'd like to invite other people to join us, now would be a good time to do that. Uh, just as we're starting up so people don't miss anything, you can uh, send them to Ken MacArthur, that's K-E-N-M-C-A-R-T-H-U-R dot com forward slash open, because this is our open series of webcasts. We're doing this on a regular uh, basis uh, uh, for the next several months, uh, training our impact action team and you get a kind of peek into some of our world-class faculty for the Impact Action Team and the big Impact Action Plan that we have coming up, the product. Um, we're doing an event in Los Angeles, California. Anne's going to be there for that event. Uh, I'm really excited about that. If you haven't registered for that event, do it right now. It's theimpactevent.com. And we'd love to have you join us. We've got great, great people coming to that event. We've got people like James Malinchak, Mike Koenigs, Pam Hendrickson. Uh, we have Kim Castle, who was on our series earlier. Um, just a slew of really, really great, great people, one of those people being Ann DeVere. So I'm not going to take up any more time with that, uh, but definitely uh, take a look at that page. Get registered now. It's only a week away. Uh, and we are doing a uh, one-day intensive on Thursday, the day before. You can get information on that at onedayintensive.com forward slash Los Angeles, or just go to onedayintensive.com, and you can find the event for Los Angeles. Uh, that's uh, no more than 10 people, and that's a great, great opportunity to learn about um, all of the things that... Um, uh, that you might want to know about about your business. So the focus is really on you and your business and all of the great things that um, that we have uh, uh, going on uh, in our lives. So the focus is all on you. So, Anne, uh, I'm going to actually turn this presentation mode over to you and let you be the presenter. So hang on just one second, and I'm going to make you the presenter. And there you are. <laughs> we may we may have just lost your sound, Anne. I'm I'm just wondering. I, I see you've got two different things uh up and going here and I'm just wondering if maybe
I, I think what we've got here is we've got a little bit of overload on the system with the with the video because um, I'm getting a little bit of delay on it, uh, and I'm getting a little bit of raggedy noise uh, kind of sound, but that's about it. And I don't know if you can hear me, um, but it looks like you've got, we've got just a little bit uh, too much going through there uh, in terms of the bandwidth. Um, I think you're going to have to close down your webcam software for, for this presentation. Are you there, yes. Ann? Whoop. Are you there, Ann? Yes. Yes. I, oh, here we go. I couldn't hear you. <laughs> oh, you couldn't hear me. Well, we couldn't hear, you, hear, you, hear, either. Oh, you hear, no, no. hear me either. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Do you see my desktop? Uh, I do see your desktop. There's a little bit of lag. I think maybe what we have is we have um, a little bit of a bandwidth problem here with the, with the video going on. But I see you and, oh. and your webcast and the uh, laptop. It's just that it's not coming through really, really steadily and clear. Okay. So you know what I may do? Um, well, since, since uh, you can see me as well as the PowerPoint, so it, 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 I'm assuming that uh, there is a huge lag coming in between what I say and what you hear. So I'm going to shut off my camera and just use a PowerPoint. Yep. That works okay, great. Okay, so let's, yeah, let's do that. And I will explain pretty much what I was doing, and then we can take it from there. Yeah, that's much better. So it is? Okay. All right. So um, before we, uh, we move on, let me explain the purpose of the way it was set up. Um, Usually, if you have pretty good bandwidth, you can, you can do that, and uh, we usually do. Um, you can actually set up and conduct interviews and uh, create your own videos with your desktop, you know, you being on camera, and then open up a PowerPoint right next to it, and you do screen capture. So now that I'm not on camera, I just wanted to explain that before the moment got away from us. That's what it's <laughs> supposed to look like without the lag, right? <laughs> right, exactly. I think this is a kind of a, a problem with uh, GoToWebinar. They're not really uh, very geared up uh, to actually be able to produce the video because what it does is it runs off of my local computer. Um, and unlike some other systems where you actually run video directly off the uh, off of the web. Uh, everybody gets it kind of relayed uh, via my computer, which is not a, not the best situation for this kind of a demonstration. So. Okay. Well, hopefully this is going to work. Just uh, you know, the the important information is going to be on a desktop, and you know, you don't need to have me on. So we're going to deliver great content and have a blast at the same time. You know, without the full effect of the video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that sounds great. So, okay. So, give us a little bit about uh, a little bit about your background. How you how you got started? We've known each other for quite a while now. So, uh, so tell tell the tell the crowd about uh, your background, how you got started, and how did you get into this video stuff anyway? Well, actually, my background is in international business consulting. 
and marketing. And I, when I say international business consulting, I go way back when you actually had to travel internationally to be an international business consultant. <laughs> so, I'm, <laughs> so I'm kind of dating myself here. But uh, you know, I, I spend a lot of time overseas and uh, you know with major corporations, and uh, so I guess it, you know, business co uh, consulting and marketing. And my husband has been in television for you know over thirty years, from mm. directing the Six O'Clock News to working with some of the top infomercial producers, directors in New York. He is an Emmy award-winning video editor. So uh, about. Five years ago, actually it was about seven years ago, and I was working with some clients who were absolutely brilliant at what they did. They had better products and services than some of the better known people out there. And the difference was that uh, they had the media, they had video, and my clients didn't. So I kind of looked at my husband at the risk of the marriage, I said, do you think maybe we can work together and <laughs> support support the clients I have and maybe get them on television? And we did. And I'm happy to say we're still married. So Fantastic. <laughs> That's good news. <laughs> yeah. But what, what we ended up doing was, uh, you know, taking some, uh, some of the better known experts um, into the television studio. It was Channel 6 in San Diego. We actually rented the entire TV studio. And we conducted interviews called Access to Experts. The idea was to spotlight the, uh, the expert next door who was absolutely brilliant, but the world didn't know about them already. Mm. So we quickly saw that you know even some of the better known experts, you know, while they can they can command you know audiences of like hundreds or even thousands, they were not as dynamic on camera without the live audience interaction. So we uh -huh. said, ooh, okay, we we need to go ahead and, you know, maybe uh, get get them in the room together and work with them before we bring them on camera. And you know, necessity is the mother of invention. We started conducting a TV interview mastery, three day intensives, the all interactive, you know, on camera. So one thing led to another. And that's pretty much how I got into video, basically showing people how to conduct interviews because our clients wanted to get on television. They wanted to go on a talk show circuit. They wanted to go from where they are today to Good Morning America. And that's kind of the, the gist of it all. Yeah. So we combine marketing with video and interviews, and here we are. Everything is video. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fantastic story. That's a fantastic story. So what, a, what does somebody do, um, you know, when they're first starting out? I know a lot of the people here that are on this, uh, on this webcast today are people that uh, maybe have had a little bit of exposure on camera, maybe done a little bit of work uh, to create video products or something like that. Most of them probably have not been you know, on uh, on uh, actual television and have that experience, uh, but but how do people get started with this? Well, the best way to get started, Ken, is always with the mindset, mm. and for them to really understand what uh, the video interviews can do for them. So, and that actually brings us to. Oh, let's see, I should be moving on with the with the presentation now here with my PowerPoint as we go. So here's where I want people to really get in the mode. You know, where we have, I know all your clients are experts who, who want to be out there in a, in a big way. And I know because of who you are, everybody who's associated with you is really a global difference maker. And, you know, getting the word out there is, is, uh, is what it's about. And, the impact event that we're going to be doing in March is a perfect example of that. So it basically, it's like if you want to be known and if you want to run away best-selling book and if you want to be a recognized authority in your field and if you want people lining up to have you speak at their events, if you want to step into celebrity status, and this is the word that I want people to really think about, it's only in the mindset, then you have to basically harness the power into the interviews. And this is this what I'm just showing on the screen right now. This is where I, this is where it all starts. You know, picking the thing that makes all the difference to you. You know, 
what is it that they want to do. Once they start with that pick, whether it's the best-selling book or becoming a recognized authority or whether speaking on bigger stages, once you take that and start building around that, how can you take, you know, for example, becoming a best-selling uh, you know, author? So how can you use video to get it out there? And this is where it all starts. The video is everywhere. I mean, we can't escape it. It's literally, I mean, it's everywhere on YouTube. It's uh, we have all these video blogs. We have live streaming videos, and let's not forget the the cell phones. I mean, we are literally running our businesses with our smartphones. Yep, I'm so it's yeah. That's how people. That's how you get out there. Understanding that we have the power of video at our fingertips. And even using the smartphones, we can be on national television. We can get on national television being interviewed. This is that's where it all it all starts. So that's what I want everybody to think about. You know, like everything else, Ken, it's all in the mindset. Mm -hmm. That's where you start. Once we plant in the seed, it kind of starts to grow. And here's the other part where it makes a huge difference. There is a the good news and the bad news. <laughs> You know, sound familiar with everything? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, well, here's the, the good news is that if you have video on YouTube, you have global visibility. And that's how powerful video is. You know, we just create a video about the book, about the you know, presentation, about uh, whatever charity we're trying to support, whatever it is that we're looking to do. Put a video on YouTube, we, get, we have instant global visibility. Well, the bad news is, if we have a video on YouTube, we have global visibility. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I do. <laughs> you know, some, some of the videos that we, we've put up there over the years, and I know some of my friends, some of my colleagues, and I even had a couple of them that I wish I could take down. Yeah. You know, so right now we're at a place where we have to have pretty good quality video because people are getting used to it. So this is where we have to take a look at, you know, what is the quality of the video and what is the content of the video and how are we using the video. And this is a, this is a foundation. Like we're, we're like at a place right now where we have a very short, you know, time frame where we still, it's almost like the Wild West, before, before everybody has to use video. It's, you know, put it, within a year, it's going to be like using email. Oh, you don't use video to, to contact your clients? You don't use video to uh, market? You don't use video to, to do consultations? What do you mean? You know? yeah. it, 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 is, it would be almost like saying, oh, you don't use email. What, what do you mean you don't use email? Mm. So, that's pretty much where we are. It's in the mindset. Um, oh, here's some statistics that, that will come in handy. We're, you see, I pull a, a put a lot of emphasis on the mindset. So, 89 million people today will watch 1.2 billion videos. That's a lot of videos. Yeah. You know, so it's like, how many of them are our videos? How many of them are your videos? And uh, you know, that's that's where it all comes in, into play. Now, the here. Oh, this is the fun part. Can we can have our videos do the selling for us while we have fun? And this is this is really where the mindset comes in. You know, the power of videos. Can you imagine cloning ourselves and having uh, uh, a bunch of us like you know? Hundreds or thousands of us running around making a sale for us. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And this is it. So, do we want to, you know, be in a country club? You know, spend more time with our family or cruise around the world while the videos do the selling? And uh, this is this is where this is where the foundation is. So, where do they get started? With the mindset. You know, as far as the creating videos and getting the videos out there, we, you know, definitely we'll uh, share some more information about that. The, Ken, you use videos a lot, you know, you do, sure. you, you do 
that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I think that uh, I think everybody needs to be uh, doing video. Um, hopefully, they're doing it in the right way, and and um, and it takes practice to do it. So, uh, so I'm glad I've got you on here to kind of give us the the guidelines of, of what we need to be doing. Well, the thing with with videos, it's not just the video themselves; it's the kind of videos that make it really powerful. And uh, conducting interviews yeah. is is what I usually recommend. You know, I mean, we use videos all different kinds of ways, but we you know since we're focusing on the power of interviews here, you know, you know, pretty much everybody we know, you know, a lot of I know a lot of your clients, you know, we've been conducting teleseminars and webinars and live seminars and just adding the video component to it makes a huge difference. Mm -hmm. So learning to, for example, to doing the, what we're doing right now with the webinar, if not, if the video was working okay, if the bridge line was working okay, you know, we could be interacting with each other right now live with video. You know, yep. and that's what's happening right now. now. And in just a bit, I'm going to share actually a resource where it's, it's free and you can interview each other. You can see each other on a desktop and record right the, on a desktop while the interview is, uh, you know, being conducted. Mm. And I'm going to share that in just just a little while, while just kind of giving a little uh, something exciting for everybody right now. But video interviews are the key. It's it's the whole thing. It's like if we're being interviewed on TV, it automatically positions us as an expert. It automatically elevates the expert status. You know, and it, it's it basically video interviews are it. Just like you know, we're, you're interviewing right now. We're talking right now. Just by being associated with you, and because you've chosen to interview me, it you know, automatically positions me as an expert with your audience. That's how easy it is. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I know that uh, when we started out with uh, Sterling Valentine, for instance, that uh, he did a lot of interviewing uh, to get his start. Um, you know, as he was just starting out, so it's a great way to get started for sure. And then, and then it's a it's a valuable component of um, of whatever you're doing. If you're going to be an expert in any capacity, you know, none, none of us know everything. So it's it's a good thing to reach out to people. I mean, I see uh, uh, some amazing people on the call uh, today, and I know that uh, uh, Mitch Axelrod is uh, on this call today, and. Uh, you know, being able to interview somebody like that about intellectual property or uh, lots of different people uh, that are um, um, available to interview. Uh, you know, I've, I've had the pleasure of interviewing people like Seth Godin or Matt Mullenweg, the, the creator of WordPress, and, and um, even uh, Craig Newmark from uh, Craigslist, the guy who created Craigslist. So it's not hard to get people to uh, to interview and it's a great way to get started and it's a great way to learn more. Oh absolutely like oh, all the people you mentioned see you because of where you are you know where you sit as an expert you by you interviewing these other well-known experts you're bringing a lot of value to your clients to your students but your students can easily you know by interviewing one of the well-known experts, by interviewing you, that will elevate their expert status just by associating with somebody who is the go-to expert in that industry. So it's, a, it's like leapfrogging, yep. especially with video. And both of you, you know, video is the most intimate you can get besides being there with a person, you know, in, at, at a live event. So they can see you, they can hear you. You know, they can feel your emotion. So it's it's very, very powerful. Now, the, the other way to use video, and uh, uh, I do this with my clients a lot, when they're looking to break into a new niche that they're not known in, just contact, you know, the, some of the leaders in that industry and, yep. and interview them. And, oh, here, Ken, this is really important. Believe it or not, a lot of the well-known experts you know, besides the internet marketing world, a lot of the well-known experts are not set with videos. So mm -hmm. if you know how to get them set up, you know, literally, I'm going to share the information with, with people today, you can set up your home studio 
for under $300 and start broadcasting. Literally hit the button, broadcast, and you can be interviewed on local television. That's how simple, that's how easy it is. That's where technology has brought us. Mm -hmm. So imagine somebody who is not well known calling somebody who is one of the, the, the top experts in that niche, in that industry, and say, can I interview you? And they say, well, I'm not really set up to be doing home, you know, you know, I don't have a home studio. So, well, I'll, I can just send you the information, you know, can I, I'll set up everything. I'll set up the bridge and all you have to do is hit your webcam and I'll take care of everything else. Can we set up the interview? The answer is always yes. Hmm. Sounds great. Yeah, well, if you make it easy for people, and like I said, it's just right now, it's just a small window of opportunity before everybody has to have a home studio. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. yeah, so jump on it. Well, let's jump, jump on, on it. In. <laughs> so how, how do we get started then? How do we get started? Well, let's see. Um, what do we have here? Well, the first thing is what's keeping you from using the number one marketing tool today? I want to get back to, I want people to think about it. Is, uh, usually have a reason. If you haven't started using video, there is a reason. What are some of those reasons? So just kind of start jotting down some information, okay? Um, are you afraid of looking or sounding bad on video? You would be surprised and how many times I've had people tell me, well, the camera adds 10 pounds and I'm going to wait until I lose some weight before I use video. So my question is, when was the last time Somebody was delivering great content. You said, wait, stop right there. Go lose 20 pounds and then come back and tell me. Then I will listen to you. <laughs> yep. You know, people don't care how you look. You know, it, 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 a video gives you the, 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 the uh, playing field to be who you are, show up as who you are. And, you know, people are more interested in who, you know, what you say and, and how you show up rather than how you look. So let's just get past the look and, and by the way here's a tip if you're worried about gaining 10 pounds on camera if you angle your camera just a little bit above your face so it's looking down just a little bit it will slim your face okay <laughs> so I know you just lost 10 pounds in 10 seconds how's that <laughs> that's good uh... okay. so that's reason number one if all of any of you are, are worried about looking and sounding you know bad on camera Practice. Practice. You just uh, get on the camera, watch, and the things you don't like, improve. Get comfortable with it or get some training. There's all kinds of trainings available. Looking and sounding good on camera, feeling comfortable is key to you delivering the content, you know, from your heart. And that's what people respond to because if, so, if you're concerned about who you are and how you look, I mean, rather, how you look rather than who you are, there's going to be a disconnect. So forget about the looking and, you know, and do the best you can, but show up as who you are. So the other reason people don't use video because they think it will cost too much to set up their home video studio. And can it does not. For under $300, you can have your own home studio. And Logitech webcams, are the best out there. They're under $100. There are a few different ones. You know, I'm not going to give the make right now at the, which one to get because the, everything is changing so quickly and I, and I want this video to be you know, evergreen. So just look online. Look for Logitech and choose one. Again, they're under $100. They're really wonderful and they, they do all kinds of neat things and choose the one that's right for you. The other thing, all you got to do is get some lights. And you go online, look for some light sets, you know, anywhere from $80, $250. Some of them come with the uh, backdrop. You have green screen, white screen, and a black screen, you know, behind you for all kinds of video production. $150 for the entire set. So $300, you have your home studio set up and ready to go. And in a minute, I'm going to tell you about a broadcasting system that's going to make you totally look professional. So let's go to the third reason why a lot of people are not using videos. And it's not, not knowing how to promote themselves using videos. Well, right now, there is so much opportunity out there where you can put your videos, YouTube being one of them. I mean, it's, it's huge. 
you know, you can have your own channel on YouTube. And if you, you know, put up the right keywords and, you know, so people when out there searching for you, they'll find you there as well as creating a buzz throughout social media. There's all kinds of ways of getting the word out there besides the email. So all you, all you do is put a video up and then start driving traffic to it. I am not going to go into details as to how to turn your videos into cash. That's a whole another thing. But that's, the, that's what this whole thing is about. For you to be willing to step up and take your expertise and put it on video and then get the word out there. Video is it. You might as well jump on the bandwagon now and uh, uh, let's see now. What does it take to create your own high quality videos and then turn them into cash? This is, this is the big question. Turn them into cash is usually where everybody kind of gets stuck. Because I have a lot of people who have videos and a lot of people who come to us, a lot of the experts, they've actually been on television. They even have the videos. Um, they, it's just sitting on the shelf because they don't know what to do with it. And there are three, three parts to creating videos and then turning them into cash. And I'm going to kind of quickly go through it, Ken, as far as what those three components are. And then please feel free to jump in and ask questions, at, you know, any one of them, because I know you always have these great questions you're asking. I'm just kind of, uh, uh, as I go through it. <laughs> just keep uh, going. You're doing great. <laughs> okay. Well, what I call the trifactor, it, trifactor is the key to turning your videos into cash. So what I call the trifactor obviously has three parts to it. One is get ready, and the second part is get on the set, and the third is get paid. So you have to have these things together. So I'm going to kind of go through as to why you need all three before you can turn your videos into cash. And this is all going to fall into place, what we're doing. So this actually, this whole concept, I, I based it on um, the hedgehog principle from the book Good to Great. You know, when you have... Yep. Uh, to be successful, you have to be good at what you do, and uh, you have to you have to have a, a, a mechanism for you know making the money, and uh, uh, you have to have passion for it. So the same principle. I'm sure a lot of you know people you know that are listening right now they're very familiar with that concept, so they should slide right into what I'm about to teach right here. So to have a video that really works and, and you can turn it into cash, you have the first thing you have to do is get ready. Now the get ready portion is there are three parts to it. One is your mindset. I, I kind of really spent a lot of time on that because I wanted people to really want to you know embrace getting uh, on uh, on camera. The second part is looking and sounding good on camera and the third part is knowing what to say. So basically knowing what to say it's all about delivering great content. You know, the, if you just focus on, usually we hear about what are some of the mistakes people make and what you should know when you buy a product. I usually like to focus on the misconceptions because misconceptions is between the mistakes and what you should know. So usually we know that if we talk about are you making these mistakes, people are a lot more apt to taking action. But if you just say, well, these are the things you should know, it's not weak enough to, to push them into action. You know, we're, we're more pain motivated. <laughs> so I kind of found the, if I just talk about the misconceptions that people have about, for example, using videos, it really works well. That's where I usually recommend st starting. So find some things that are misconceptions about the products and services you have. Great. So that's the get ready part, okay? Now, get on the set part, this is setting up your home studio and basically producing the videos. And, um, you know, I already told you a little bit about the cameras, setting up the, the cameras. And, um, uh, and I'm going to tell you in just a minute, a broadcasting system that you can use for free to literally conduct interviews. So set, get on the set is about producing your videos. And you can go hire professionals to produce your videos as well. So it's you know, of course, you can do the professional. That's great, but you even if you're using professionals, you should know how to create your own video. Now, the get paid part is uh, how are you going to turn that video into cash? You need to have an idea, like, okay, how much money do you want to make? And uh, 
you know, how many leads do you need to make that amount of money? What's the, what's the price point going to be? What the profit margin is going to be? So have at least a basic concept, you know, have a plan. So you can't make money without having a plan. And then if you go into where, how am I going to be using this? Where am I going to be putting the, the videos and uh, where, where are the leads going to be coming from? And the easiest way to do this, basically, I say, find something that works for you. It's like, for example, just using social media, okay? Are you more apt to, you know, be comfortable on LinkedIn? Or are you more of a Facebook person? Are you more of a Twitter person? Find something that you have an affinity for somewhere where you feel comfortable and go with that. And of course, the get paid portion of it, where I call the co-op marketing collaborative, this is who else does your client need to be supported by to, uh, um, to be successful? Like in my case, my clients need publishers and publicists and image consultants. So I want to get them in touch with those people, but those are the same people who want access to, you know, to my clients. So just like what you're doing, Ken, you know, it's perfect. All the events you put on, you, you get some of the best experts to support your clients. You're, you are a perfect example of how all this works. So you have to have all three in place to, you know, to turn the videos into cash. But here's the part where what happens if you only do two out of the three? So if you just get ready and then you get on the set and you know create your videos without having the, the components, the money making components to turn it into cash, basically it's going to be a waste of time and money because you're just going to have some videos that are sitting on your desktop or on your website or on your shelf somewhere and it, it's just going to sit there. It's not going to make any money. So what if you get ready and get paid? A lot of people are doing this right now. They're really good at what they do. They get out there and get clients and they make money, but they do not create videos. They're not using videos. If you do that, you're going to be outdated very shortly. Bottom line is that you're going to be outdated. You're going to look outdated. You're going to damage your credibility. It's just everything is moving so quickly. You got to start using videos. Well, what if you create your videos and start marketing with videos without getting ready without taking the time to really um, step into that the celebrity mindset and look and sound great and confident and, uh, and produce great videos and have great content. What's going to happen if you don't do that? Well, you're going to end up damaging your credibility because, uh, you know, just like uh, earlier when, uh, when I said there are some videos out there that I wish they weren't, you know, that a lot of people wish they weren't. Those are the ones that don't look so good. I mean, there's some videos out there where people have put up and they're talking about how successful people can be, and there's a bathroom door open with a toilet in the background. <laughs> you know, it's like those don't work anymore. People are used to looking for you know uh, more powerful videos, uh, better quality videos. So you want to have all these components working together. Yeah. That you know that yep. The, the standards are going up all the time. It's, uh, uh, it's amazing the quality of some of the video that work that is out there now, you know, that, that people are, are putting together, and that's what you're competing with. Exactly. And, you know, part of it, Ken, is that even the video cameras themselves, you know, some of the consumer video cameras that are for three, where we can buy for three or four hundred dollars, the quality of it is the same as the ones of, of the cameras we used to pay $5,000 just three years ago. Yeah, yeah. So we have a lot of power at our fingertips, plus what's available for us online. The bridge lines, they're getting more sophisticated, more powerful. So within the next few months, we're not going to have any challenges with having a video on a PowerPoint on like we did today. Because there, you should see what's happening out there. there there's huge wars going on, who's going to have the bigger, better, you know, uh, platform that everybody's going to use. That's it. We, we're at an amazing time right now. So here is, here is my special surprise, special gift. And some of you already know about this. It's almost like the best kept secret. Ubu. It's O O V O O Uvu Uvu.com. I call it Skype with an attitude. Now, this is what the screen looks like. 
You know how when you use Skype, you're talking with somebody, the person you're talking to is full screen, and you are usually in the corner, tiny little screen. You, you, you know, Ken, what I'm talking about when you're chatting with somebody on video on Skype? Yep. Okay. Well, Uvu doesn't do that. Uvu looks exactly the way you see it. You're side, side by side on a screen. So can you see conducting an interview and using screen capture like Camtasia or Snagit? And uh, I use Debut. Great. You can get Debut for There's a free version of it. You just select the screen um, uh, on your desktop that you want to record. And there you go. You're creating a video. And what I usually do, like I had earlier, I put my PowerPoint on one side and I'll have my webcam. Um, showing up on my desktop on the other, and I screen capture that, and there go my re training videos with me in it. So it doesn't have to be just a PowerPoint. It doesn't have to be just audio. Now we have live, and you can set up um, home uh, studios, well, uh, home stages. We, we conduct video in our video seminars where you, literally you can use the entire stage, or set it up where you're conducting interviews. You know, uh, set up the stage the way people would expect you know to see you in that environment or or uh, let's say your home studio if or one of our clients she works with um, a mothers of trouble team so her studio she basically has a small table kitchen table and she'll sit at the table with a coffee mug in her hand come on let's talk about your team because that's what's going to make her audience feel comfortable so if you're an attorney, you may want to have some books in the background, you know, because people are always looking for it. But just be careful with the books because people start re reading what's, what's behind you instead of paying attention to you. So just think about your backdrop. Right now, well, it, when, I, when I first came on, I just had a plain back, backdrop because I had the PowerPoint there on the side of it, so I didn't want to make it too busy. But you can easily set up your home studio where you'll be broadcasting live using free software. Uvu is free. I mean, there's a paid version. I mean, it's like $39, and it, that means a, a year, mind you. And you just don't get the ad. But can you see how easy it is to be interviewing and looking professional? Looks so, good. Looks yeah. good. I just typed it into the, um, into the chat window. So those of you who are asking you know, what it was, um, that's the address. Don't go away. <laughs> yeah, don't go away. It's it's going to be there when when uh, when we get off this call here. Okay, yeah, it's exactly. going to be there. Yeah. Let's see what else do we have. So basically, let your videos do the selling while you enjoy your life. Now, seriously, I want everybody to think about it. If you create training videos, if you create video tips that are set up to be going out at a certain time and uh, uh, to be going out on a certain day, to, if you're broadcasting on your YouTube channel, if you have it on your blog, everything's scheduled. I mean, we have so much power at our fingertips to automate everything. So if you do that, if you create a bunch of video tips and you're talking you know, directly into the camera, connecting with people, so to me, I see it as a way to have thousands of salespeople working for you while you do the things you want. So I'm going to go back to here. What is it that you want to do? Do you want to hang out in a country club, maybe go play tennis or just lay by the pool and you know, work from your laptop while your videos are out there uh, doing their job? You know? And this is a huge, huge want for a lot of our clients, they want to spend more time with their kids. You know, I mean, what's more precious than that? We're able to go to our daughter's soccer games all the time and hang out and do whatever, spend more time while the videos do, do the work for us. And that's a lot of power, a lot of power at our fingertips. And here's the world cruises that everybody's always talking about traveling the world. We can work wherever we go. Take your little webcam with you. Take your little uh, iPhone with you. Whatever smartphone you have, travel the world and, and, and uh, do your training from wherever you are because it's that powerful. 
you can connect to any bridge line and do whatever you want. On location, interviews are a lot of fun. So this, I don't know what else to say. I, I know that adopting this mindset is the first step and conducting interviews is huge. Being, being set up where you can walk into your uh, studio and hit the button and the lights come on and the webcam comes on and you're being interviewed on your local TV because you are ready and this is what we're setting our clients up to do. Their studio is ready to go and what they're doing now is basically choosing some topics and sending them to their local television studio and saying, well, if this breaks in the news, I'm your guy, I'm your gal, I can be ready in 15 minutes and, you know, I'm ready to go. And a lot of them already have video snippets of the conversation they'll be having or the, how they're going to be covering the topic on their media page. So they even send the link to, to the uh, TV studios where they can just go in there and watch exactly what they're going to talk about. How powerful is that? You don't even need to go to a production company to do that. You can create all of this on your desktop for free. Literally, $100 webcam. Let's free uh, internet. Yeah. No, I was just going to say, uh, maybe we can, uh, I'll just ask the audience, if you have questions for Anne about the process, about how you would do that, um, then go ahead and uh, do one of two things. Either raise your hand. Uh, you can. There's a little button that, a little hand button that you can raise your hand if you would like me to unmute you, and then uh, you can ask a question, uh, or uh, just type it into the ch uh, question area on your screen, uh, and I'll get some questions here to to Anne as we go along. Didn't mean to interrupt you though, Anne. I was just uh, I wanted people to get ready and and type some questions in. So. Oh, and that's okay. Again, I, I, I get passionate about this, and I get on my soapbox, so I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So here, here's a question for you. Uh, it says, I was exposed to semi-professional uh, broadcast software that's very aff affordable, less than $150, I think, from Adobe. It's a teleprompter software I saw it put into use at my daughter's tech magnet school by the fifth and sixth graders doing a live broadcast to the rest of the school. The software is uh, Adobe Visual Communicator. I guess that's a comment instead of a question, but um, but Jim Zach, uh, yeah, it's a it's pretty amazing what uh, what you can do these days, you know, with just simple uh, pieces of uh, of software. Uh, here's a qu question from um, uh, Cheryl Nicholson. Uh, she say asking, would you put all these videos uh, on your YouTube channel? Yes, I would put uh, all videos on the YouTube channel. Now, I have to say that we actually have our own uh, broadcasting channel that we use separate, and some of the, the bigger interviews, we keep it in a separate area. You can have pay-per-view videos. But yes, I would put all kinds of videos on, on your YouTube channel um, and drive a lot of traffic to it. Refer them. Just use, use the the videos you have on YouTube uh, to to connect to your blogs or just basically keep going back and forth to YouTube because the more traffic you get from YouTube coming to your blog and of course you have to watch the keywords oh, I don't want to go into all that but yeah I would short answer yes and uh, the Uvu uh, uh, software or the service that uh, you mentioned uh, automatically uh, up loads to YouTube uh, so you can do it all within that system if you want. Um, I've seen a lot of people using uh, Google Hangout especially lately there's a lot of conversation with that I just did uh, an interview with Alex Mandosian before I went to San Diego uh, using Google Hangouts what's the difference between something like Uvu and using a system like uh, uh, Google Hangouts what's the pros and cons there? The pros and cons, well, Uvu is not as well known, and uh, uh, just because you're using Google Hangout, if it's connected with Google, so it's a lot more powerful. But to me, it's about the look and feel of it. I personally have found, and again, this is just technology right now, that 
Google Hangout seems to have more of a hang up with the quality than Uvu does. But it, but it, it could be just your connection. Every, that's you know the internet connections that we have because there's such a variety you know of the speed you know from one city to another, from one town to another. So um, it I think right now it's about preference. Yeah. It's about preference. That's all it is. We actually use um, we use Glowview. It's a broadcasting platform. It has everything uh, in it from it does uh, video on demand. It does um, uh, individual uh, channels. You can do pay per view. It has a whole social media platform linked to it, and it, it, it's it's a WordPress based. So mm -hmm. it, it's oh, there's so many options out there. You you're gonna be you're gonna get confused just even diving into each one. What I would suggest is try a couple of them if something works and then ask people don't uh, don't get stuck because every day we're going to be hearing more about more and more it's just very similar to how we started with teleseminar if you were like you know a yeah. couple of them to start with now you have you know bridge lines all over the place so just just keep your mind open and, and ask the people you're working with and test it for one and the other thing to be to be conscious of too the same platform that you're using right now may be not so good today, but they're constantly working on it. Next month, it'll, it could be the best one out there. It's, yeah. it's a race right now, so just stay open. Yeah, flexible. absolutely. Um, Jim Zach is asking, what's the name of the uh, the one that you just mentioned uh, that's WordPress-based? What was the name of that? Glowview, G L O. V U E. As a matter of fact, that one we're, I'm so I'm so impressed with it. They they they've been testing it for a few years, about three three years. A really very robust system. The cosmetic part is coming in, but the, uh, they're doing a lot of white label. Oh, and so you are watching people out there using this broadcasting system. You don't even know it's Glowview. As a matter of fact. Uh, uh, a few months ago, Disney tested it, broadcasting to three million people for some, you know, hush, hush, you know, a program that they're getting ready to do. So it, it's it's the best one out there right now that I have, you know, I'm, I'm working with uh, that I know of, and I'm sure there's some I don't even know about that are popping up every day. So. All right, fantastic. Um, good. Uh, let's see. Uh, is there a favorite site that you send videos to besides YouTube? I know that Traffic Geyser sends out to other video submission sites, but do you have a particular favorite for press exposure? Uh, no, you know what? I don't even want to get into that because, again, it's one of those every day. It's a different one, and I want to keep this evergreen. So. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, bottom line, it's, it's technology is changing every single, <laughs> every single minute. And um, it, is, it is tough to stay up on, on top of everything that's going on. Um, a good way to do it would be just to look out there and see, uh, you know, some of the sites that uh, YouTube, you know, goes to now. I think uh, there's advantages in, in being everywhere, you know. So if you can get uh, your videos out in lots of different places, then then they will um, they'll show up in lots of different places. So, all right. Any other questions that we have? Um, we're coming right up on the hour. So uh, so you did a great job. A good timing there, Anne. <laughs> right. Thank you. Thank you. I, I figured between the two of us, we could just go back and forth and fill the hour. So. <laughs> Uh, yes, Cheryl, uh, and uh, Devere is going to be in Los Angeles at the Impact event, and I know you're going to be there, Cheryl, and uh, there's some other people on the call that are going to be there, and if you're not, uh, then join us. Uh, Dwan's going to be there for sure, uh, and, um, and uh, so lots of, uh, lots of good folks uh, coming down to Los Angeles, California the media capital of the world and Anne is going to be you know uh, not only presenting at the event but she'll also be helping um, us as we uh, work on our live case study project live at the event that's going to be a lot of fun a very exciting kind of time 
uh, where we're going to make you uh, think creatively and, and see what you can come up with to get out a simple message of hope for lots of people who are, are trapped in human trafficking kinds of situations to get them the resources that they need to raise awareness so that uh, people can easily identify people who might be in these situations and get them the resources that they need because that's so important. Um, Jim uh, Zach is asking, if we purchase the ticket online, do we get something to bring that shows we paid or are we just on the list? If you already signed up for the impact event, Jim, uh, just show up. That's all you need to do. So there's no physical ticket involved. And uh, you should have gotten information about the event. Uh, if for any reason you didn't, um, just let me know. And I'll send you all of the information. Also, uh, it registers you as a member of the site. And, um, and definitely it will, um, it will give you the information, you know, hotel information. It's, um, it's going to be at, I'll give you the address in the chat bar here for the hotel, but it's just basically uh, the impact event uh, forward slash hotel dot com forward slash hotel. If I can type, there it goes. Wonderful. Ben, um, it would be great to see you. And thanks for showing up today. All right. Fantastic. All right. And Jim, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing you there. Um, Cherry, I've got uh, a fully booked uh, day <laughs> today. Uh, um, but we can definitely connect soon. Uh, kind of going crazy here. All right. Um, any other quick questions before we let everybody go for the day? I want to respect your time and Anne's time. I thank you so much for being here with us. And it was great uh, to have you on the webcast. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in um, beautiful Los Angeles. Uh, I'll uh, be talking a little bit about uh, some of the exciting stuff we've got going on. I know People have been kind of watching uh, the uh, the website that I put up to kind of illustrate you know how you can get a high traffic site in a short period of time. We managed to get it into the top 1.3, or actually top 1% in four days. In top six, uh, in six days, we managed to go into the. Oh, let's see, I think it's 0 .003 top percentage uh, in terms of ranking. If you uh, haven't gone to that site yet, uh, if you haven't, uh, you know, followed our Twitter feed or any of that kind of stuff, uh, Facebook, connected on Facebook, uh, go to the site now and do that uh, because we're doing some fun things with this. It's going to be great. Uh, it's called buzzbreaker.com, and it's all about the trending topics around the web. And if any of you are interested in becoming um, <clears throat> kind of the global correspondents, bloggers, commentators for uh, this website, uh, this is kind of citizen uh, journalism at its best, and, uh, and we're looking for some great people that would like to contribute uh, to the blog, it's a chance to get in front of thousands of people. We've had, uh, I think, something like 1,500 people visit that site today alone. And um, so uh, this is a chance for you to do that. If you want more information on that, you can go to the address that I'm going to type in this box, which is buzzbreaker.com forward slash bloggers, I think, and that should get you there. Um, and thanks so much. Um, I really appreciate you uh, being you, being here, and being involved and, and actively making a difference in the world. Uh, we're going to try and do some great things to get positive things out there. Thanks, everybody, and uh, have a great weekend. Thanks so much, Ann, uh, and we'll see you in L.A. My pleasure, Ken. Thank you so much. Looking forward to it. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye, everybody.